In this video, I would like to discuss with you uh, 2018 paper 2, part 1, question number 2. 2018 paper 2, part 1, question number 2. Roman number 1, individual demand curve and market demand curve. What is uh, demand? Demand is the willingness and ability to buy the product at a certain price during a certain period of time. Then for you to have a demand for a specific commodity, there should be two features. One is willingness to buy. They should have willingness or desire to buy. Other one, they should have purchasing power. That is the ability to buy. Then what is individual demand? Individual demand is the quantity demanded at each price by a person, by an individual during a certain period of time. Individual demand. What is individual demand curve? Then if you draw a line to represent different quantity demanded and different prices, during a certain period of time related to a, an individual, then it is called individual demand curve. Individual demand curve is a diagram which shows the relationship between quantity demanded at each price by an individual during a certain period of time. Then what is market demand? Market demand is the Horizontal summation or total of individual demand, individual quantity demanded. Therefore, when it comes to market demand curve, market demand curve is the horizontal summation of individual demand and market demand curve produces the relationship between only demanded then different prices at a certain period of time. Then this is the market demand curve. Then here price, here quantity, QD. Then this is the market demand curve, DD. Then it is created by taking the summation of individual demand curves. Right. This is market demand curve. Then question number two, Roman number two. Question number two, Roman number two. What is elasticity of demand? What is price elastic of demand? What is price elastic of demand? Part two. Price. Price elastic. Elasticity of demand. Price elasticity of demand. What is elasticity? Elasticity is the responsiveness of one variable to a change in another variable. What is elasticity? Elasticity is the responsiveness of one variable to a change in another variable. When it comes to price elasticity of demand, that is the responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in price of the relevant product. What is price elasticity of demand? That is the responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in price of the relevant product. Therefore, price and quantity demand, we have got negative relationship, opposite relationship. Then, in another way, we can produce price less of demand, that is the percentage change in quantity demand, divided by percentage change in price. 
uh, PED, PED, price elastic of demand equal PED, price elasticity of demand equal percentage change in QD divided by percentage change in change in price. Right. P D equal percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. This is the formula for to calculate price class of demand. How can you define price class of demand? Price class of demand is the responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in price of the relevant commodity or product. Then if you ask to calculate price of demand, you can use this formula percentage change in quantity demand divided by percentage change in price. Right. That is the answer for part two. Then part three. Part three, you are given two equations that is quantity, uh, that is demand equation and uh, supply equation. You are asked to calculate market equilibrium price and quantity demand. Then, here, the part three, you are given uh, QD equal, QD equal 350 minus. 350 minus 10p. This is the demand equation. Then you are given supply mix equation QS equal QS equal minus 40 minus 40 plus 5p plus 5p minus 40 plus 5p. Here you are given both demand equation and supply equation demand equation qd equal 350 minus 10p supply equation qs equal minus 40 plus 5p you know at the equilibrium qs equal qd and the equilibrium and the equilibrium you know qs equal QD, right? At the equilibrium, QS equal QD. Therefore, you can take separately uh, QS and QD and find the P and Q. Here, and as QS equal QD at the equilibrium, you can take 350 minus 10P equal minus 40 plus 5p, right? Then you can take similar things together. Uh, 350 minus, when it comes to left side, it will become plus 40 equal uh, 5p plus 10p. When it comes to left to right, minus will become plus, therefore 10p. Then 390, 390 equal, 15 p 5 plus 10 then 390 equal 5 p you can divide 390 by 50 because coefficient of p equal 15 then p equal 390 divided by 15 then when you divide 390 the other 90 by 15 here two times uh, balance 990, uh, 6 times 50, that is uh, 26. Uh, Equivalent price is 26. You know how did I take 26 per uh, unit? 26, that is equivalent price 26. Here, 390 equal 15p, then if you want to find P, you divide 390 by 50. Right. Then you can apply uh, P equal 15 to one of these two formulas. One of these two formulas and find Q. Here you found 
equal price is 15, then you can apply 15 to one of these two formulas. Either for demand equation or supply equation. First step, uh, QD equal 350 minus 10 P. Uh, then you can take QD equal 350 minus 10. Instead of P, you can apply uh, 50, then 350 minus 10 into 15, 150. Then 150, uh, 350 minus 150, then uh, 50, uh, equilibrium price is fifth equilibrium prices here you have got 26 equilibrium price is 26 uh, sorry here uh, 26 is the equilibrium price 26 26 equal equilibrium price therefore instead of p you can apply 20 26 then it's not uh, 150, that should be 260. 260, 10 into 26 equal 260. Then uh, 0, 5 minus 6, 15 minus 6, 9. Then uh, 90. Equilibrium, equilibrium quantity, equilibrium quantities, uh, 90 metric tons. That is, uh, he, 90 here equilibrium quantity is 90. You are asked to calculate equilibrium price and quantity here. Equilibrium price 26. And when you apply 26, one of these two formulas, you now have you have found the QD quantity demanded. Equilibrium quantity equal 90 metric tons. Here you can apply 26 one of to this uh, formula either for Q D equal 350 minus 10 P or QS equal minus 40 plus 5P. Then you can find 90 as the equilibrium quantity. Equilibrium quantity at the equilibrium QS equal Q D therefore quantity demanded at the equilibrium 90 metric tons and also quantity demanded also 90 metric tons. 90 metric tons. Right. That is the answer for part three. Uh, Right. Equilibrium price 26 and equilibrium quantity 90 metric tons. We have got the answers for both uh, part one and two uh, and three. Now we are going to discuss part four. Part four. Then here you are given some conditions, right? Uh, then part B, part B, 2018, question number two, part B, uh, you are asked to calculate uh, Roman number four, P and Q at the equilibrium. Then we ask what are the market equilibrium price and quantity? We have already found. Then again, you ask, Suppose the government decides to help farmers by implementing a deficiency payment scheme. That means if there is a shortage, uh, then government is ready to pay for the farmers. Government wants to encourage the farmers to uh, do the things continuously. Therefore, government is ready to give money to the uh, farmers. Therefore, under the scheme, the government will generate farmers that they will receive 30 per kilogram of pumpkin. Because they are they are growing pumpkin, but at the market now they are they have to sell one unit for 26 rupees. But now government is, is going to offer 30 per one kilogram. And just ask that they sell all of the pumpkin they produce at whatever the price they can get it from the market. How much pumpkins will the farmers supply to uh, the market now? Because here, government wants to implement a market deficiency scheme. 
and this is the mark a down man is ready to pay any uh down man is ready to buy any amount of uh pumpkin they are ready to pay 30 per kilogram but mark of equilibrium price is 26 then uh part three question number how much pumpkins will the farmers supply to the market now therefore here uh if you want to find the quantity under the new price you have to apply the given price by the government to the one of those two equations because supply equation is here uh, q is equal minus 40 plus 5 feet because s q s q is equal minus 40 plus 5 feet that is supply equation the uh, as the government is ready to implement the market deficiency scheme now government is uh, ready to pay 30 per one kilo but market equilibrium price we found it is 26 therefore if you apply the price given by the government under the new scheme, market deficit scheme, you can find the new quantity. How much means new quantity supplied uh, by the suppliers. Then Q is equal minus 40. Instead of P, you can apply, you can apply uh, 30. Then you can find new equilibrium quantity supply. Then here, minus 40 plus 5 to 30, 150. Then minus 40 plus 150, as is 110 metric tons. 110 metric tons. Under the new scheme of market deficiency implemented by the government, the suppliers for farmers of pumpkins are ready to supply for the market 110 metric tons under the new scheme because government is ready to pay 30 per one pumpkin uh, kilograms of pumpkin. Therefore, uh, now we found 110 metric tons will be the uh, quantity supply under the new scheme. How do you find that? You first take the given supply equation and apply the price. Here, instead of P, you apply the price which is going to pay by the government to this equation. Then you can easily find the new quantity supplied by the farmers under the new market uh, deficiency scheme. Right. That is 110. The new next part, uh, 2018, paper two, uh, paper two, part uh, two, question number two, uh, part four, Roman number A, okay, we found in part B, okay, part C, what price, what price do farmers need to change in order to sell the entire supply? What price do farmers need to change? in order to sell the entire supply. That is part C. What price do farmers need to charge in order to sell the entire supply? That means we have to decide the price that the farmers are going to charge uh, from the customers if they want to sell entire supply, that is total supply. Because now, because of the government market deficiency scheme, uh, now they have to supply 110 uh, metric tons uh, to the market at that price. Then uh, we have to find the amount of uh, price the farmers have to charge at that quantity. Therefore, we have to apply 110 to the uh, given demand curve to find the new price because now we are going to uh, supply 110 to the market, then uh, when we supply 110, we ask to find the new price that farmers are going to charge from the customer at this quantity. The entire quantity is 110. Therefore, now we have to apply the given quantity of the quantity found under this uh, equation to the demand equation. Then we can find the new price our demand equation equal qd qd equal minus uh qd equal 350 minus 10 350 minus 10 p this is our demand equation for us to find the new price that the farmers are going to charge at the new quantity uh we can 
apply the new quantity instead of QD to find out the new price, which are going to charge at this quantity. Then we found 100, we can apply 110 instead of QD and try to find the new price. Then here, you can apply new quantities of QD. Then QD, 110 equals 350 minus 10P. Then here, uh, you can keep the same thing plus 350 right hand side and take uh, plus 110 to this side from left to side, uh, right hand side. Then it will become minus 110. Then you can take minus 10P to this left side. Then when you take from right to left, then it will become plus 10P. Then plus 10P equal 350 minus, minus 110. R is 0, 0. 5 minus 1, 4. 3 minus 1, 2, 240. Then 10P equal 240. Then for us to find P, you divide 240 by 10. Then P equal 24. That means you are going to charge per 1 kilo of pumpkin 24 rupees under the new scheme. Under the new scheme, you are ready to sell entire quantity. Therefore, Entire quantity 110. We can apply this entire quantity to demand equation and find the new price which are going to charge from customers under the new scheme. Then you are going to charge 24 rupees from uh, per each kilograms of pumpkin. 24. Right. Then part uh, that is the answer for part C. Uh, then we are asked to find the uh, deficiency payment received from the government to the uh, farmers. We are asked to find next part. Uh, how much will farmers receive from the government as deficiency payment? How much part D? Now I am discussing part D. How much will farmers receive from the government as deficiency payment? Now government is ready to pay. 30 per 1 kilogram. Therefore, we are asked to find the total amount received by the farmers or total amount paid by the government to the farmers at the market deficiency to pay the market deficiency. Therefore, you find the amount. Uh, here we can take amount given by the government. Amount of price. Amount of price given by the government given by the government, that is how much? 30. And deduct market equilibrium price. Market equilibrium price. That is, market equilibrium price is 24. Market equilibrium price is 24. Right? If you are ready to sell entire quantity to the market, then you can take, uh, you are ready to sell 110 metric tons of pumpkins, then at that quantity, you are going to charge 24. The new market equilibrium is 24 per 1 kilogram. 1 kilogram. Then you can deduct that. That is 24. The 30 is the amount the government is going to pay for farmers, but farmers is in a position to charge from the customers 24. Therefore, 30 minus 24 equals 6. Then you you multiply this fixed by number of units sold. Number of units sold is 110. Here, uh, amount given by the government is 30 per 1 kilogram. Market equilibrium price 24. New market equilibrium price 24. Then you take the difference between do these two prices and multiply by number of metric tons in new quantity or entire quantity 110. Therefore, the difference is 30 minus 24, 16 multiplied by 110. Then you take the amount the government is going to pay for the farmers, 6206, then 6 into 1, 6, 6 into 1, uh, 660, 660,000 rupees are to be paid for the farmers by the government. Here, we are given all the values in thousands, therefore, you can just Produce it as 660 rupees or 660,000 rupees. 
is the answer for part. That is the answer for uh, part B. The amount the government is going to pay for the farmer. You can say sixteen to hundred ten six hundred sixty four. You can produce just six hundred sixty thousand. Six hundred six thousand rupees. Six hundred sixty thousand. That is the total amount the government is going to pay for the farmers. Right. That is the answer for part D. Then we are asked to calculate consumer surplus and producer surplus. We are asked to pay uh, 106,000 for farmers. That is the market deficiency scheme. That is under market deficiency scheme. Then uh, part D, we are asked to calculate consumer surplus and the producer surplus. What is consumer surplus? You know, in the market we have equipment price and quantity. Consumers have to pay that price, but consumers are ready to pay the highest price because of market equilibrium. They have got a chance to pay a lower price, but that is called uh, consumer surplus. Under the equilibrium price, they have to pay lower value. But they are consumers are ready to pay the highest price which goes in the market. But because of market and demand condition, in the market we have to pay equilibrium price. Therefore, consumers can save something. That part is called consumer surplus. How to calculate consumer surplus? Uh, then here I will just take a diagram. This is demand curve and this is supply curve then the market this is the market equilibrium p and the q zero then you just suppose this is 50 and market equilibrium 25 then here you get just take five and equilibrium price 24 you just take quantity uh, thousand then because of normally Consumers have to pay this part, 25 per unit, but they are ready to pay 50 because of market equilibrium, they have to pay only this price. Therefore, consumers can save this part. That is called consumer surplus. Another way, suppliers also ready to supply at this price, at the lowest price, five. But because of market equilibrium, they can have 25. But they are ready to supply even at lowest price, that is five. Then they can have a higher profit, that is producer surplus. They can have more than what they expected. They are ready to supply at this price. Because of market equilibrium, they have a chance to cut this amount. Therefore, this is called producer surplus. This part, this triangle indicates the producer surplus, the above triangle produces the consumer surplus. Then, uh, if you are asked to draw a diagram and indicate, this is how you can draw the diagram and present. And also you should be able to calculate uh, consumer surplus and producer surplus. Here, uh, we are given two equations. One is QS, QS equal, uh, our supply equation Q is equal minus 40 plus P minus 40 plus uh, 5P and QD equal 350 plus 5P. Right, that is uh, given in the question. Uh, 350 minus, minus 10P. 300 uh, Q is equal minus 40 plus 5P. Uh, QD equal 350 minus 10P. 350 minus 10p, that is uh, demand equation minus 10p here, yeah. right. Then you can easily find uh, market equilibrium and any information by using these two formulas. Here, uh, how to find consumer surplus? You have to first find the highest price the consumers are going to pay. You already know equilibrium price, but you don't know high, uh, highest price. Then for us to take highest price, you take uh, QD. 
demand equation. Then you just take uh, when the quantity demand is zero, you just find uh, when the quantity demand is zero, zero there will be minus 10p. Then you take minus 10p to this side, it will become plus 10p and 350 equal 10p. You know, you apply and use given demand equation to find the highest price available in the market. Then you just assume when the quantity demand is zero, you can equalize 350 equal 10p. That is the when the quantity demand is zero, you are going to find the price. This is the uh, quantity demand is zero. Now we are going to find highest price. Then 10p equal 350, or to find p, you divide 350 by uh, 350, 350 by 10. Then you take p equal 35 rupees, right? 3 equal 35 rupees. That is how you can find highest price available in the market. Then this price, in this diagram, I have this mark 50. That is for, for you to explain just the consumer surplus and producer surplus according to the given details. According to the given details, our highest price is 35, right? According to the given details, our highest price is 35, right? This is zero. Then you can find uh, lowest price the suppliers are ready to provide like this. Then you can use supply equation for you to find lowest price the producers are ready to supply. Then for that purpose, you can use QS equal minus 40 and plus T equation. QS equal minus 40 plus I equation. Then either of QS, you just apply zero. Then because when the quantity supply is zero, you are going to uh, find the price. Then minus 40 equal uh, plus five. Then you can take minus for this side. Then if you got plus 40 equal uh, 5p plus 40 equal plus 5p. Then for you to find p, you divide 40 by 5. Then 8, 8 equal p. Then at the lowest price, the producers are ready to supply is 8. 8, p equal 8. That means this is the lowest price. We are 0. Then 8. 8 is the lowest price. Highest price, 35. Right. Now we found lowest price and highest price. Okay, right. lowest price and highest price. Then here, I will change this values because earlier I used this diagram for to explain what is consumer surplus, what is surplus. But now I am going to indicate, explain and indicate by using the given details, highest price 35, then eight rupees will be lowest price that suppliers are ready. Then you can, find uh, here minus 40 minus 40 is there here in the supply equation minus 40 plus 5p here minus 40 will be minus 40 will be uh, quantity supplied and when the price is zero when the price is zero quantity supply will be minus 40 like this minus 40 and when the price is zero on the demand will be 350 like this here you can take this is 350 when the price is zero the quantity supply is 350 sorry uh, quantity demand is 350 when the price is zero minus 40 is uh, quantity supply then you can take uh, your supply curve this is my previous answer, but now you can draw new two uh, lines by using this minus 40 and 8, like this. This is supply. 
then the highest price and you can just take highest price and the highest quantity demand and then you can mark this is equilibrium this is uh, 20 uh, this is 35 26 and this is quantity here a quantity then you found mark equilibrium price and quantity uh, here we found 110 our equilibrium quantity is 110 right this is 110 110 then this is consumer surplus this is producer surplus this part this part will be for consumer surplus this part will be for producer surplus how can you find producer surplus uh, we can apply different formulas, but we can easily find the highest price 35, 35 minus equal price 26. Then quantity 110 into 110, all things you divide by 2. Why? Because this area indicates 110, but we take half of the triangle, the here, rectangle, half of the rectangle it is a triangle therefore we divide by 2 35 highest price then equilibrium price 26 into 110 110 is the equilibrium quantity uh equilibrium quantity then divided by 2 by we take half of that that rectangle then 9 uh 9 into 110, 0, uh, that is, uh, you can check market uh, consumer surplus, uh, here, uh, market equilibrium price 24, that we, we found 24, okay, 20. Okay. Market equilibrium price uh, 24, not 26. Uh, earlier market equilibrium price is 24. Therefore, uh, 24, 35, then uh, that is uh, not 9, 11. 11 into 110, uh, 11 into 0, uh, 0, 11 into 11, uh, 122. So that is 1,220. 1,220 is the consumer uh, surplus, 1,220. Then producer surplus, you know, equilibrium price 24 minus the lowest price when the lowest price 8. Then again, 110 into 110 divided by 2. 24 minus 8, that is 16. Uh, 16 into 110, 16 into 110, uh, sorry, here, uh, we are, this is equivalent price, but uh, this is okay for consumer surplus, but when it comes to but when it comes to uh, producer surplus, actually, we can't take 24. We have to take the price which is going to be paid by the government, that is 30. Because producer surplus regarding producers, no. 24 is okay for consumer surplus, but when it comes to uh, Producers, they take 30 from government. They are for highest price 30, lowest price 8, then uh, quantity 110 uh, and divide by 2. Because uh, government is ready to pay uh, 30 per 30 per 1 kilogram. They are for tw uh, 22, 22 into 110 divided by 2. 22 into 110 divided by 2y, we take 
there. Half of rectangle, that is the triangle, this only this part is a rectangle, no? 110 and uh, area between 22 and 8, that is 16. Then 22 into uh, 30, we take 30, the higher the equilibrium, and highest price 30, lowest price 8, and multiply by 110 quantity. Why do you have to divide by 2? Why? We take a triangle, this triangle, but uh, we consider the full rectangle. As we have to take half of that, that is triangle, this triangle, we divide by 2, then uh, 11 into 110. Uh, only a, a consumer surplus was 60. Therefore, uh, we will double this one. Uh, it is also equal to 1000 to 20. 1,220 as the uh, 1,220 as the producer surplus. Producer surplus, right? Earlier we got consumer surplus. Uh, now producer surplus is 1,210 because uh, 1,210 here. 22 into uh, yes, 22 into 11, 1,210. Uh, right. 20 into 0, this one, 20 into 11, 11 into 22, uh, 1,200, right? 1,210 is the uh, producer surplus. 1,210 is the producer surplus, right? Then 22 is the difference between highest price and the lowest price. Then multiply by 110, then divide by 2 y. We take the total rectangle 110 area, but as you take half of that, that triangle, we divide by 2. As you take one triangle, half of the rectangle, then we take divide by 2. Then 22 into 110 divided by 2 equal 1,210. Uh, right, that means when you can set off one time 11, 11 into 110. 0, 11 into 11, 121, 0, 1,210. That is the answer for uh, part D, 2018, paper 2, part 1, question number 2, last part, that is part E, producer surplus and consumer surplus. You have to understand producer surplus and consumer surplus, and you should be able to calculate producer surplus and consumer surplus. Yes.